All right, back to the sprawl. Only one relationship this time. While the heart still beats, but it's play grenade heals and battle die. heal heals. I don't mind that. Don't mind it one bit. Behold, the great cities of man, ruined. By the way, uh, to Sally, I think it was, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome as well. All right, we got another, another shrine of reflection. Ooh, two shrines of reflection in a row, going straight into the lair, straight into a broken clock, into another shrine of, oh, okay, well... We're gonna spend most of this region sh reflecting, but I'm I'm happy about that. Not gonna complain one bit. When deliberation is exhausted. Who needs who needs to fight when you can just get all of your abilities unlocked, right? We do still need to get the final unlock on uh, on the duelist. And and I will say, and this is like it's a funny thing, but. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome to the Twitch side of the world. Chapter three. The Great Crusade. The Great Crusade. Welcome to the community. The cacophony of conflict rang bloody in his ears. Trumpets and drums shouted orders. The screams of the dead and the dying. But in the maelstrom of mortal combat, he found a divine peace. He came to relish the cleaving blade and zealous bloodlust, losing himself entirely to the terrible delights of battle. Ooh, bloodlust. Bloodlust comes with bulwark of faith. Seems pretty exceptional, actually. Bulwark of faith looks really good. We do have to be a little careful about, uh, See, like, we don't need the battle heal right now. Bulwark of Faith, though. Two, three, and four. Dang. Bulwark of Faith is, is strong. Let's see, armor, armor, combat, combat. We, we need, I guess we're gonna rely Women on. hide by the roadside, waiting in ambush for unwary travelers. We're gonna rely a bit on the uh, on the the librarian to drop our loathing, which is fine. I gotta say, hero shrines just for the mastery are they make the game easier. The game is harder once you run out of hero shrines. Chapter four. Blood in the snow. Hey, Artie. It's been a while. How are you doing? All right, Blood in the Snow. I'm assuming this may be the other interactive one. Yep. The enemy camp rang with the clamor of terrified recognition. They knew his frightful reputation. All right, so what do we got here? So we have, we have Smite. He has 75 hit points. We have Smite, we have Bulwark. So we could... I'm doing all right. I'm enjoying uh, enjoying unlocking the Crusader and his uh, his broad shoulders. Defeat the world. Okay, so uh, we don't really know his pattern yet. I would say I would say we don't daze him right now. I think we open with a bulwark to mitigate his first hit. Uh, this rank will be attacked. So can we just move out of the way of it? Eventually we're not going to be able to do that anymore. Alright, so we will get the, get the big strength up hit in. Okay, good. So now we remove those tokens while doing some more damage. Okay, so sometimes he just hits us, noted. 
Ooh, and the hit comes with a stun, it seems. All right, I think we, we bulwark when we can to get the block token. Uh, we can move out of the way. So we're just going to take this one on the chin, but we are defended. We don't have a lot of options. <laughs> it appears we can only move forward. But I, I think right now getting the block up when we have that on cooldown is, is good for business. Alright, again... We have the we have the defend, so I think we're okay. Uh, but it's only we have Holy Lance if we end up in the back rank. But I don't think we're ever gonna end up in the back rank because we can't move backwards. But as long as our stunning blow lines up with his tokens, I think we're just fine. Unless he starts doing something weird. We're resisting the stun, which is nice. Uh, okay. Oh! Mercy! We show him mercy! Go into humiliation and pray we do not meet again. All right. At the moment of execution, he demurred. This one could live on in humiliation. All right, we got Holy Lance for for our shuffle. He did not possess. Looks a little different than the old version of Holy Lance, but. It looks like it packs a bit of a punch. Uh, Rusty was here earlier saying that he was a little disappointed by the uh, the damage profile of it, but it looks decent. I think it does mean that for the Librarian, I'm going to put Zeal in rank 4 so that he can Holy Lance initially. <laughs> Ridiculous as that may sound. Thanks for rescouting the things that we have already scouted, game. No, it does 4 to 7 damage. It's got a damage of 4 to 7, 10% critical, and applies burn. And it applies combo. So, uh, yeah, the damage range of 5 to 9 is pretty decent. It's The low end is a little low. I don't know if that's disappointing, Hama. I feel what's the uh like I mean let's let's look at let's compare that to this. It's more than pistol shot, but less than point blank, but it has it's very rank flexible in terms of its targeting. Oh hi. That's frustrating. Conclusion. Now the hope here, and I don't know that we're going to get it, but, oh man, this requires a crit. Alright, not going to happen. We, we do this to at least mitigate one of the shots. And maybe we get a lucky misfire. Well, we we can do that to hopefully buy us some time. Ah, oh, no. Not really. Not when not when we have the, uh, the Plague Doctor who consistently solos uh, librarians like it's going out of style. Oh, yeah. You can't stun the implication. I always forget that. That's horse hockey, I just want to say. Um. Mm. 
that blind not working was uh, was very unfortunate. Snappy Swig decided to join the party. Seems strange. Why would it ever do that? Almost there. Alright. Frustrating that we took that big chunk of damage, but... We... Down these I, I think the implication, like, the ghoul should be a guaranteed mastery. Just, uh, just throwing that out there. Hello, darkness, my old friend. But yeah, with with a, with an alchemist plague doctor, they basically solo the librarian. So, Beware no, I didn't get to switch my order. Damn it! Oh well. Actually, you can hold on. We have. We have this, so let's have you... It's a weird combo of things, but I think this is okay, and then we will... Put those there. Put those there. Alright. Yeah, no, I I wanted to I wanted to actually do that, and then I uh, and then I messed it up. So I I forgot to move them. I wish you could move them when before you entered, but we'd already rolled up on the the great library. So this fight's gonna go well, though. That blind could be a little annoying, all right. Should be a big hit. It is a big hit. The the increased damage on that, I, I really want to see uh, the Crusader pop off, I will admit. Okay, get a little bit of healing off that. Slight, slightly risky, but I think we're, uh, we're going to be okay. We don't need to... We don't need to risk that there. We can pull this corpse forward to slow this guy down, too. With souls on the creator, you can put uh, one or two on the Plague Doctor if you want to use his apron. Yeah, I, I, get, I get nervous about the apron because it nerfs healing so hard. You know? Like... I, I like it sometimes, but I think it works best on tanks. On to the next. Did we did we leave stunning strike? Okay, let's do Let's do the blind then here. The fiend's strength dwindles. Eight and a stun feels pretty good. He should only do his buff move, which means we'll get both blinds for next turn. Yeah, that's all he wrote. I, I didn't want to risk getting that, getting that dodged. Looks like his dodge token was not faulty, so perhaps a wise move. Measured and steady. First time using Bulwark. I really like the design of Bulwark. I think it's going to be a strong ability. All right. 
right, and then might as well, might as well put this guy dead to rights. All problems have their solutions, even the big ones. The pilfered wealth. If relics in inventory less than ten, you get crit. Reap skill steals positive token, and reap skill minus two relics from inventory. So far, so far, I like the, uh, I like them. I think they're, I think they're well designed. All right, well, we're going to do this. I think the only one who can use the arm, the apron is the, the man at arms as he takes little time. damage with all the block and block the plus. I think the leper, I think the leper plays really well it. with it too. Uh... But I, I do, I do agree. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. Oh, really, Curvion? I, I kind of want to use it, but I... So, one question is, is does it does it stop working when you have zero relics? Because it sounds like that would make it really good for the final boss if it did. Oh, the stun is nasty. See? There's no problem here. Let's see. Uh, we can safely do that. We don't have a better. We don't have a better option. We're, we're doing a lot of damage to this stack. I will say. Oh, the miss on on that is Chef's kiss. I don't think we're going to get a chance to, to add another block token, but yeah, it's going to be too late, I think. I wish I had, uh, wish I had been better about, about swapping my order, but I, I don't think he's going to get through this stack. I mean, we had we had better book RNG on uh, on this librarian, and and the mastery helped out a great deal. Um, Snappy Swig though is taking the fight off, as as it has a tendency to do. But yeah, GG librarian, get wrecked. Uh, what's going on? What's going on with this, like, this cracked loathing that's stuck there? That's a little weird. I'm gonna put... I kind of like peculiar pods here. What if Charred Litany goes here? So right now we have too, way too many relics to get the, the proc here. So I guess you can you can use this with zero relics. I don't think I want to spend relics right now. I might give him buttressing band for the moment. That can go away. Whoops. What does Katniss even have? Katniss can lose some crit. That's fine. And then candles. Candles be gone. All right. Did you know that Snappy Swig has a much better chance to proc uh, 
has as much of a chance to proc as blinds and dodges. Uh, if those do nothing, it's not unreasonable to complain about a poor little snappy swag. I mean, that's fair. The reap skill? Excuse my sneezage, but uh, the reap skill is a moderate damage frontline attack that uh, with combo will cause healing, which I think makes it very interesting, especially once upgraded. Uh, and it also debuffs healing. Now, I don't know what our loathing is right now because we have this weird visual glitch, but I believe we have no loathing. Up ahead, the seat of our regrettable research. They should have called it ill-gotten gains rather than pilfered wealth. I could see that. Really? No smoldering hymnal or... Oh, I guess you weren't first in turn order. That's fair. A breakthrough. I guess that's fair. Whoa, what's going on with the with the resists all of a sudden? Oh, I need to switch up my my skills. Let us hope to finish this quickly. I got weird skills on my Crusader right now. That were set up for the librarian, but I don't think they did much they did much good. Volda Jiggle. Hello and welcome. What uh what's going, what's going on with my with my stuff here? Yeah, thank you for the follow, Volda Jiggle. Just jiggles if it's easier. I I mean I'm I'm down with whatever uh, whatever sounds good to you. But uh but jiggles it is. Let's see. Five, we're at six. Seven and nine, we might get the kill here. There was probably an argument to delay that fight a little bit because we probably could have gotten some stress healing on our uh, on our highwayman. But welcome, Jiggles. Uh, what what brings you here, and how did you find your way to our little corner of the internet? Uh, did it show up at all in Lustrous? Because if it showed up at all, then it's supposed to show up once. But if it showed up twice, that is indeed a bug. Uh, I'm in the process of of rewriting all of that code, though. As a side note, so. Uh, take that with a with a grain of salt and don't worry too much about the bugs there. Showed up in the corner and the center. Yeah, no, that's definitely wrong. <laughs> um, that one, hold on. That one I might want to, I might want to take a look at because that's easy to fix. Let's see. We're currently on this one here. Uh, yeah, the alerts are, are doubly, uh, doubly represented. And bug fixed. All right. The next time some awesome person follows, we will validate that uh, that I have fixed the glitch. Oh, amazing! Well, I I appreciate it and welcome uh, welcome to the club. Which study? What study did we have here? Oh yeah, we got the we got the clock. What is going on with my? All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're either gonna leave or we're gonna get a quirk and five stress healing. It's a mixed quirk. Do I even want a quirk? I don't think I even want a quirk. Tangle Explorer and that is fine. So, in the in the very strange uh, strange realm of things, I think that was the play. Get rid of that, and then I don't think we need this burn solve. I'm not planning on getting burned too many more times during this run. But yes, I too have a love for Darkest Dungeon, and I think, uh, ooh, we haven't seen these guys since we unlocked the Crusader. We have we have great dots for uh, for these fools. I didn't change my Crusader skills again. Spiky boys, indeed. Hey, Patrick. Welcome, welcome. Let's bulwark our faith. Ah, I do love the art on the Crusader. 
it's it's terrible to say because I know that there's a lot of like there's a lot of mixed feelings about the uh, the inclusion of the Crusader because of the lore that kind of like uh, suggested that he might be otherwise deceased. But I'm a I'm I'm a huge fan of his return. I'm really happy that he made a that he made a comeback. A promising development. Now is this defended? It's not. All right, I'll just hack away at this then. We'll get some healing off of it hopefully. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be short lived. Yeah, we can't do much here. All right, let's just let's just exit stage right. Maybe we get some stress healing off of it. Cut down these ah, okay. So so OG darkest dungeon is your uh, is your bailiwig, uh, Jiggles. Got it. Uh, I have you have you ever played uh, Pitch Black Dungeon, the uh, the mod for the original Darkest Dungeon? Because that was my uh, that was my all time favorite version of the original Darkest Dungeon. Let's see, so we could we also have Adrenaline Tonic, which we could slap on if we wanted to use the Healing Apron, but that minus fifty percent still feels really punishing. For now, let's just put that there. Yeah, I have a full I have a full playthrough of the original. Uh, darkest dungeon pitch black dungeon on my channel that had one of the most poetic endings of any game that I have ever played uh, just just it just worked out everything worked out perfectly in the end and it was this kind of like combination of fantastic and stressful because I, I didn't realize how much pitch black dungeon overhauled to the end of the uh, the end of the game no spoilers though I didn't change his, I didn't change the Crusader's abilities again. I need to uh, I need to clean up my act here. Malaise measured and steady. Bravo. Yeah, set a reminder. I just like the regular game in DLC. Uh, but I will give mods a try uh, sometime. I'm looking to get DD2, though. DD2 is fantastic. Uh, highly, highly recommended. Oh, you're blinded? Dang. Wasn't paying attention. Um, but yeah, if, if you if you at some point uh, decide, go crazy and decide that uh, the the base game is too easy, Pitch Black Dungeon is a, uh, is a great modification. <laughs> It, it adds a lot of difficulty to the game, which is fun. At least fun in my eyes. But yeah, there is an amazing community behind DD1. And I think with time, knock on wood, I think DD2 is going to have the same capability. The The challenge, though, that, uh, that I am anticipating, and we've talked a lot about this on the channel, is that the... The boundary for entry of creating a mod is much higher when you have to create 3D models. Um, so I, I think that the assets... Yes, Chris, exactly. I think that the assets are going to make it more challenging to create high-quality mods. But I think that they... I My hope is, is that they will find ways to uh, to make that a little easier and uh and support the community a little further i don't think there's a value in not just swinging for the fences on this one it's not pretty but we're gonna be absolutely fine here I don't mind leaving the weakness token. I just want to get a little bit of healing off here. I'm glad I didn't waste the time removing that weak charge. That's for sure. 
Oh, let's get a let's get ourselves a heal. There we go. And we are sitting pretty. Ooh, buttressing band. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I'll just finish it off. But yeah, the way that he swings his sword back up around is just like, it's super cool. Love it. I don't suspect we're going to need ourselves a heat shield. And I will probably... The loathing of the two of these, I'll probably just stick with... I don't think Healing Given is the uh, is the corrupted one that we the want. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have a little bit more to do here, don't we? So we can do Wheel, Wheel, Armor. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go. Let's, uh, let's get Zeal a little more unlocked. Wee-woo, wee-woo. Oh, look at this. I see the wee-woo, wee-woo, and my, my brain was like, yes, wee-woo, wee-woo, indeed. Uh, stress healing, we're okay on. I kind of want to keep Bulwark or Faith. That probably means Stunning Blow. Uh, we'll keep, I don't think we need Reap and uh, Zealous, so we'll leave it as that. The other thing that we should probably do is now we have skill loadouts. So we could save this skill loadout if we wanted to. But... Look ahead. We, we should at some point do that. We should start saving our, our usual suspect loadouts. But thank you for the reminder, Illustrious. You are, uh, you are a gentleman and a scholar. Let's see how the story ends, I think. Chapter 5. No home but hell. It sounds ominous. Motionless upon his war horse, he contemplated the scene of stifling domesticity in the familiar valley below. The boy played idly in the muddy field while the mother hung sheets upon a tattered line. From his saddle, he planted his heraldic banner in the thawing soil, tossing the whole of his earnings in its shadow. He blew hard into his war horn and turned to rejoin his regiment. He did not look back. All right. Plowshares and swords completed, and we get Radiance, which is self to regen, range skills plus 20% fire damage piercing so that's that's this is clearly meant to be used with maybe holy lance i guess uh zealous accusation is also an increase and then tenacity is target block tokens i wonder if those become improved block tokens let's check out the upgrades If target is burning, plus 30% damage. Yeah, okay, so Radiance looks like a big setup for Holy Lance damage. And Tenacity looks like... Okay, it's generating a lot of block tokens. It's not generating anything else, though. Which means... It definitely does, Rose. Yeah, so that means that the... Yeah, there, there's an interesting combo to Radiance. I think Radiance is really meant to pair with Holy Lance because Zealous Accusation doesn't have a high enough base damage to make uh, to make that damage increase. But it makes it makes them interesting an interesting pair. We got a Shambler's Altar that does not sound like my cup of tea. We could pick up three Loathing, but I don't think we want to do that either. We're just gonna we're gonna accept that we're gonna lose some baubles in the end. As we as we lose all of our all of our stagecoach paraphernalia. Wheels is new, coach limping. Be prudent. That's not damage increase. That's chance to set fire increase. Is it? We must keep moving. If target burning plus thirty percent damage. Uh, no. So it 
It increases range skills burning application chance by 20, but then if the target is burning, the upgraded version adds 30% damage. That's what I'm saying. So the, the second half of the upgrade on Radiance plays really well with Holy Lance. So you're gonna be lighting things on fire with Holy Lance and then repeated hits against them with Holy Lance is going to generate uh, a bunch more damage. So we could, we could play, we may play a bit with Holy Lance because I think this team, ah, uh, this team doesn't work great for Holy Lance. Like I can see any and Zeal in the middle, but I don't think we can afford to have Legion on the front rank. Maybe for the final boss though. Pity her soul so twisted by despair. For the final boss, I think we could make it work. Wait, we're winded. Wait, the, okay, so, okay, this is the way we do it. Yeah, we won't. Winded adding a negative modifier is a little weird. Um, I think, I think the Jester is similarly good for Holy Lance in the sense that he has a reliable back one maneuver, but I think that the, the, um, the Highwayman is by far the better, uh, the better option. Or excuse me, not the Highwayman, the uh, the Runaway. Because the Runaway is has the same ability from rank two to move back one. And is gonna be applying damage to the front rank, which I think is marginally better than the alternative. Yeah, and that lunge is gonna kinda mess up my, my plans. That landing is nice. Escort and moving team around. Yeah, no, I, I think that, that there's definitely something to be said for that too, but I don't think Holy Lance by itself is a is a game winner. Let's get the we'll get the dodge token. I'm gonna I'm not gonna hit into this repost with uh with someone relatively fragile, especially when you have so many tokens. Measure out your violence. And apply it judiciously. Just trying to get her into the, to the point where I can do a bit of a heal. Yeah, I, I don't know that I don't know that Holy Holy Lance hits quite hard enough to fully to fully justify that much of an investment, but. I guess I guess we're gonna learn the learn the easy way. Learn the hard way, one of the two. It was a weak sauce heal. Oh yeah, we definitely will. There is there is much science to do, that is for certain. Ten for two turns is is not zero. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. I guess I'll just do that. I I wanted to get a bit of healing there, but I think zealous zealous with a uh, with charred litany. Is it charred litany? I think it's charred litany. Isn't that the one? Let me see. Yeah, Zealous with Charred Litany, I think, is gonna be is gonna be good for business. We may get some very big numbers out of that. Alright, at this point our coach is wheelless and armorless. So we're basically just riding around in like one of those Central Park uh, carts. Is Radiance a consumable buff, or does it last three turns? I forgot to check. Let's take a look. It says cooldown four, and it looks like all, everything lasts for four turns, so it is non-consumable. Which makes it uh, a setup target, but a decent one. Let's see. Does everybody have stuff? Yeah. I know this guy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, you can't win them all. Do I have Holy Lance currently equipped? I think I don't. I do not. All right, slightly unfortunate. Bravo. We're gonna have to pivot our plan here a little bit. Darkness encroaches. Oh no. Yikes. That was spicy. We're we're gonna be flirting with some warships here for sure, I think. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. You're taking seven, you have seven. Really? Did you have to roll that fast? Damn. This is gonna be this is gonna be a nasty fight for us. Oh, I should I should have used uh I should have used a smoke bomb there. Of course it, it propagates to the wrong place. Okay. Hello and scales pretty nicely with strings and vulnerable. Yeah, that was my expectation. That that's what it it sounded like it would behave that way. That shuffle though, that shuffle really messed us up. What was I just saying about a shuffle? Messing us up? I can't use Noxious Blast from that rank. That was a mistake. Clearly. Oh my word. This fight is going poorly. This is a bit of greed. I could have used one of our heals. But my my presumption was we were gonna get this uh get that stun. Just gonna take the take the pressure off a little bit. And I'm gonna I'm gonna greed this up a little bit now. Let's see. This is not going to kill you, but you're stunned currently. So we can do this to get the corpse set up. Yeah, I like the duelist. I, I've only I've only played her a couple of times, but but I do like her. All right, we have a full turn here, so we're gonna I'm gonna greed it up as much as possible. Not that that's helping much, but... At least someone gets a heal, right? Why is she getting so little healing? Is there something reducing her healing? Because I feel like we're trying to heal her and it's, it's going about as well as you would expect it to. All right. If if something was terribly wrong, let's see. Shadowborn, early riser, tracker, lazy. I mean, she has thirty three max HP, right? And battlefield medicine is a heal twenty percent. I guess that's I guess that's not that far off. It's just it's feeling very uh, very lackluster. Spoken sharply, I don't think is a great idea on Zeal. It works super well on a man-at-arms, but 
Luxury tea service. What would we be replacing? Probably trap maker's kit. I do think it's better than trap maker's kit. We probably will swap over to the other complete catalog. So I'll do that. All right. All right. That final fight was a uh, roughed us up a bit for sure. But we'll uh, we'll try to snap back. We got some shimmer powder, which is very nice. But yeah, I haven't... One of the things that I... I think I started to complain about this a little earlier in the run as well. But one of the frustrations that I have found is, especially now, it's really hard to understand the implications of the paths from, like, at a glance. So, I, I find that a little a little difficult to get around. Ooh. Ooh, with one, with one region left, a Seigir might still be worth uh, the price of admission. We will go to the Tangle. Seven mastery from that region feels quite nice. Let's see, so... Gonna do that. Trapmaker's kit is gonna go there. Leaves us with 122. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. A Seigir is kind of like... A Seigir for one region is not incredible, but a Limbic Retort is pretty bad. Hey, Artie, thank you for swinging by. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for uh, thanks for saying hi. Thanks for hanging by. Have a good one. I'll, I'll grab a Seigir still, I think. I think it's worth, uh, worth the pickup. It is, after all, that strong. Experimentation. I think we'll go unabridged edition for the extra burnination. Well. So we picked up another morbid joke. I feel like I'm, I'm tempting fatal. So what's up with the unique reliquary? Plus 5% stress damage per negative token, plus 5% damage per positive token. Ooh, do we save that for the final region? I, I will probably buy some food. We have a little bit of food, so we don't need a lot. What do your relationships look like? The morbid joke could only be used on Katniss. Let's roll the dice. All right. Max you out. Very nice. See how the playing cards treat us. I don't mind that. I think I'm going to save the unique reliquary for the final boss. I think that's worth doing. Let's grab the Holy Lance upgrade, the Radiance upgrade, the Bulwark of Faith upgrade. Grab Firefly. I don't know that we need Double Tap right now. Where we're going. Duelist Advance can help us fix order. And we don't have a lot of, ta of taunt. So maybe I'll do that. All right, we didn't get Mag Rain upgraded. That was one that I wanted, but can't always get what you want. I'll get one Whiskey Barrel, even though it may ruin us. I want to get get us de-stressed a bit. Yeah, that. I, I mean, I think overall that worked out well. Like, I was a little unhappy about the, the rolls there, but... We buy these. Buy the Meditative Totem. Might as well. Who has the worst thing? Winded and Necrophobic are kind of annoying. Lazy is pretty annoying, though. And Lazy is a one of one. So let's see if we can just... Ah, you need the Stress Heal. So we'll get rid of Winded. All right. So let's see. Food. Food. And I'll, I'll grab two more food so everybody gets a little bit of food. Now, I gotta say, like, Zeal does not have a ton of hit points. It'll get it'll get better over time, but... I do like Deathcap Spores. They've grown on me. I don't think we need them here, though. Alright, let's, let's tangle it up. 